shown and gone, neither is put and but. But when you say put and but really quickly, it sounds like you're saying put in but, like I N. It just sounds funny, cause I don't know. I just think of that uh, Onage Pranks guy. You know what I'm talking about? Um, the, you know he does the Asian voice like this. And the hell? Oh god, I don't think. I, oh yes, I did. I did open the gate. Good. Um, just remember the the one where he's talking about Xbox Live Arcade and his son, or his. Yeah, his son, he's like, Did my son, he, he, he get the Xbox Live, and he played the, the Grand Theft Auto 4, and the crazy black lady, she put in butt, I don't like it, that stuff, I don't know, it just makes me laugh every time. But, wow, I've been noticing that with each episode that I've been doing, like, I have been following Super Genius, but I'm doing things a bit differently. If I see something that he's done that I don't think is, is the fastest way to do it, then I will do it the other way, such as in FreezyZ Peak when uh, I decided to get all the flying stuff down first, whereas he did not. Um, but I just noticed that, like, in his episode, he only had two feathers for these two ghosts, and so do I. It's like, wow, that's what a coincidence. And I noticed it earlier with something else as well that there's a time where he had, um, like, a certain amount of eggs or something, and I also had the same exact amount. On the, and used them on the same part of the level and stuff. It's just, I don't know. But if we just get up here on this organ, this gigantic organ, another mumbo token. Go up here, and there's this hand. Come on, talk to me, buddy. Talk to me. There we go. Botan plays his organ with ease, but you can follow him on the keys. But can you? That's what I meant. Yeah, Motan says Mozart. Yeah, funny, funny. Um, so yeah, that's A, G. And then... A D? If you notice, the notes don't change. And then a D flat or C sharp, whatever you want to call it. An A. Where are you going now? I think you're just going to the F. F? Yep, F. Not bad, bear, but now watch me. Copy this tune, and amazed I'll be. Okay, I will. And I'm really curious as to how it sounds if you play the notes that he's doing. So, post recording, um, so that was a F sharp there, and the previous note was this uh, A sharp. B flat, and then that was a D sharp, and another A, and then a D, and a D flat, C sharp, and an A, and I think the last one is an F, if I remember right, yes, an F, no, that is not the last one, a B, and a D sharp, E flat. There we go. <clears throat> but, uh, I'm really interested to what that sounds like. So, I'm gonna go post-production and play that on my piano. I'm gonna, like, watch this over, see what notes he hits, and play it back. And I guess I'll edit that in there somewhere. Or maybe right here if I just shut the fuck up for once or something. And let you guys listen to what it sounds like. You would imagine that, you know, Grant Kirkhope, the composer of this game, <coughs> would have you know, had, god damn it, would have had them put in, like, a tune of his, because all the tunes in this game are in the key of C. So, I don't know, like, that wasn't necessarily a song, you know, because it's just some notes being played, but you would figure that they would, like, put one of his, like, tune in there or something that might have been nice. But, alas, I don't know, they didn't do an, I don't know what it sounds like, so... I will do that for you guys after. Oh, no red, no feathers. Double kill, bitch. Yeah. And hit the bitch switch. And that opens up another thing in Gruntilda's Lair, which I said that I was going to do something for Gruntilda's Lair in the last episode after I finished, but I figured that I will just do that once I'm done with 
maybe all the levels or maybe just after like this one and the next because they're all so close together and then the final level uh, click clock wood is uh is so far away that there's no point in like backtrack but yeah that's a cool trick that I learned from super genius that if you do the uh the beak bomb or not the beak bomb but the ground pound thing and then hold I don't know if you have to hold the button or not but like hold the the triggers at least on the Xbox Live one um but if you do that and then fall you won't get hurt and I also did that with the uh on top of the weather vane when I wanted to get into the maze on this level as well so it's a cool little trick um now we get turned into a pumpkin by Mumbo ah Mumbo proud of pumpkin spell make a good soup I've never had pumpkin soup but pumpkin pie is delicious in my book I love pumpkin pie ah oh, especially with some whipped cream so so delicious oh crap I forgot to do that I'm gonna go change back first and do that before I forget and every time I say that I think of that stupid Slipknot song like I am not a fan of Slipknot anymore I don't really care for that genre of music but when I was younger uh, maybe middle school and yeah pretty much just middle school uh, being a very uh, introverted teenager I thought that Slipknot and System of a Down and music kind of like that I know that System of a Down and, and uh, Slipknot aren't necessarily the same genre but yeah I used to listen to that stuff a lot you can't kill this guy because I don't have any feathers there's a mumbo token there there's an, a jiggy here <coughs> Yeah, I forgot to do this, so I just wanted to make sure I got this out of the way, because... Oh my god. Get up there. Because once you're a pumpkin, you're going to want to stay in, a pump in the pumpkin and complete the rest of the level. But, there's the last Jinjo, and another Jiggy. But yeah, um, that song that they have, that's, I think it's called Before I Forget. I slipped not. I think it's on their album duality or something I, I don't really remember I just remember that I really like Slipknot a lot and every time I say it before I forget and something else there's something else that I say that really reminds me of a song that I really don't like anymore but I can't think of it off the top of my head um god damn it no offense to like anyone that likes Slipknot or System of Down or music of that type or that genre um, I just don't care for it anymore it's not my style anymore as if I really had a style when I was 13 years old but anyhow you get the gist of it um, next I want to go over here <clears throat> and get into this area that I didn't go to before I didn't break the lock holy hell Oh, irritating. That's what I mean by by this level just being irritating. That there's like certain things that you just can't get to because you forgot to do something else, and it's ah oh, frick frag. It's so annoying. But I I do believe I can go this way, so hopefully, so I don't have to change back and then go all the way back through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can. All right. I saw that Momo token up there, but yeah, screw it. Now we can get into this well. You could do this before as Banjo Kazooie, but it's way harder swimming down here than it is to just be a pumpkin and just fall straight through and just kind of collect these notes. And that jiggy in there, I see it. Get in there. As you go, like it's just, it's so much easier. Whatever, take the hit. Momo token, and another note, and I believe that's all the notes in here. Although 91, that sounds kind of like a, a, an odd number. I feel like I might be missing some. Uh, but yes, there are some notes in here. Oh, that's plenty of red feathers. 
It's also easier because I think that this water is like poison water, and it's much harder to get through it with Banjo and Kazooie than it is to just hop around in this pumpkin. Yeah, see, it is poison water because that's why those those boots were there. <clears throat> so yeah, doing this as a pumpkin is way easier. <clears throat> Now I can go back through here and I need to get, no, not by the shed, because that's where I am now. I was going to say the shed, but no. Um, I was thinking of the cellar, which I was just in, but no, I need to get over yonder to the other side of this, I believe, hopefully, to get onto the roof, because there is a, a pa oh. I think I need to go through the maze to get to it. Wait, can I not get to the maze from here? There it is. But, oh no, that's right, that's right. It's on the other side. Yeah, see, if you go in through this way, then the ghost will chase you, and it's a lot harder. But as I said before, if you go the other way, it's a lot easier. And it's only hard because they can go through walls, and it's like, what the fuck? Man, how can you do that? But, I don't know, if you just follow my path, it's pretty easy. Well, never mind, don't follow my path, because I just messed up. I forgot that you need to go through here. But yes, go through here, and then there's a secret pumpkin hole over there. And this is how you get on the roof, which is why we need to break out the windows. Don't forget that mumbo token. I don't know why I'm collecting them all. All of a sudden, when I said that, I probably wouldn't be getting them just as much as I would need. And you're not going gonna to be getting a lot more mumbo tokens without needing them in the future. Yes, let's go in here. Uh, yeah. Right down here is a honeycomb piece. Um, let me, let me check my totals. I think I'm missing a honeycomb piece. No, I'm not. Okay, I got the other one. I don't remember where I got it, but I did get it. And that's all that matters. Um, I can also go through this window. And, wait. Yes, there's a mobile token there. Isn't there some... No, there's just some feathers in here. That's right. Get out! Oh, it's a stupid curtain. Are you kidding me? And here's Boggy. Everybody remembers him from the pre-sons. Uh, let's play, where he laughs his ass off because the toilet, you know. In the bathroom. Kind of thing. I can't see shit. Uh, where am I? Okay, yes, I remember. Ah, uh, there we go. There's the ninth jiggy. We can go out here. <clears throat> and we're back where we were. And yes, there's a stop and swap item up there. There's actually two in this level. But as I said before, I'll be coming back to get those later after showing you the codes that you need to input. God fucking damn it. I just fell down. Can I just go in this way? Yeah. Oh, no. I have to go that way to get that jiggy. No. Okay. Well, it'll be easier this time because I don't have to go through that maze again. I'll just go this way. But yeah. <clears throat> and then after that, I believe that sums it up for this level at 29 freaking minutes. And if I wouldn't have messed up so much in the beginning, maybe that wouldn't have happened. Um, maybe I would be under 30 minutes. Um, as I said before. Since I recorded this at the same time as the previous two levels, um, episodes as well, that my question <clears throat> in Freeze Easy Peak about um, how long do you think episodes should be, I guess just kind of disregard that. I will read your comments if you're so nicely like to input them. And, uh,. Yeah, I will do that stuff. The reason why we broke out the gate- get, get, get the fuck away from me! The reason we broke the gate was so that we can come through here and get in here. Right? Yes, we can shift. Okay, cool. So now that we're in here... We can get transformed back. Alright. 
And then we can go, and I don't think I have any gold. Yes, I do. Come here. Come here. Come closer. There we go. Now you're dead. And I can hit this. And there's a switch in here. Which is very important to get to Rusty Fucket Bay. <clears throat> nope. Now I need to go turn back into the pumpkin. Because there's something else I need to do as the pumpkin. I feel like I was saying something earlier, but I forgot what it was. But I'm now at 31 minutes, and that really sucks, because I don't want to cut the episode, but then I guess I should just will. Even though I'm doing such a good run of having every episode in, or every level in one episode. But I guess I'll just cut it. Yeah, I can't get that. It's just something to entice you when you're Banjo and Kazooie. Because you think that's your re re reward for destroying this gate, but no, it's actually to raise the water level. But there's actually something else that we can do as a pumpkin, I believe, but I'm not exactly 100% sure, but I will go check it out now, because I figure that I might as well cut the episode, so... I don't know, I don't know why I'm going to cut it, but I suppose I will be. <clears throat> um, let's see, if we can get some light, yes, over here. This is really, really tedious, I hate doing it. I'm pretty sure you have to do it as the pumpkin. But yeah, it generally as you can see it gets dark and then light and dark and light. Really you unless you're like really good at this game, it's probably best, and I know this is probably just common sense, to only move when uh when the light brightens. Yeah, see you have to do it as a pumpkin. We'll get to that bitch much later. <clears throat> and back here we have yet another Cheeto Spellbook. Cheeto the Spellbook. You have found magic cheats I have for you. Hey, Book Brain, what did you say? You better not give away my spells. Give my spells away. Which lost book finders bear and bird are? Spell something. I missed it. Give us the spells. Only one spell Cheeto can tell. Enter the code Red Feathers on Sandcastle Floor and Treasure Trove Cove World. Help you at will. Hidden in lair other spellbooks are, then you should find. So, yes. Um, I believe that is the second one that I've gotten, and the third one is just before the next level, or after, I forget. I think it's after would be the easiest way, but, uh, yeah, after that, you should get another achievement for, uh, collecting all of Cheeto's spells in the game, which there are only three, so it's pretty easy, and as long as you just follow my guide, you can do this. Um, yeah, so instead of opening up the next world, I'm just going to end it here because it's already 34 minutes long and I'm just going to have to cut it. So thank you everybody for watching. Um, I had a great time doing this recording session. I hope you guys have a great time watching these videos. Um, I definitely want to let's play more often and get some more episodes recorded and stuff. So hopefully that'll happen. It'll definitely be happening more often when I move, because uh, I don't like to record with other people in the house, because I just, I find it awkward and weird, especially like if they're in the same room with me. If they're in the house, like somewhere else, that's fine. I'll just tell them that I'm recording. But uh, me and my girlfriend will be having, for most likely, different work schedules, so it will be uh, easier for me to record and get more stuff done. Especially since, uh, with the job that I might be getting, I might be working a week on and a week off, so on that week off, I'll have all the time to record. And I figure that since I'm already here, and I'm already going to cut the episode, it's fine if I make two, like, 20 minute long episodes or 19 minute long episodes. Um, so, I, I don't know, I guess I'll just keep going, just disregard that last, like, you know, goodbye. Uh, this is really hard for me to do. I don't like doing this, but hopefully I make it. Oh, what? What? I was on it. That's shit. Oh, let me try that again. Let me try that again. I can do that. It's just me, me getting caught up in the, in the beginning. But yeah, like I was saying, um, us having different work schedules and me possibly having a week on and a week off. Uh, will definitely make it easier for me to do a lot more Let's Play stuff. Uh, which I plan on doing, you know, as 
I, I've, I've been wanting to do uh, daily episodes for a long time now. It's just I haven't been able to with, with like work and school and moving and all this other stuff, but I am no longer employed, no longer in school, so it's all easier. Get up there, thank you. And now I can get through here. I can get that piece in her eye, but first I want to go and get through this first. Yeah, it's easier if you just keep going up right there because you don't want to land accidentally and then have to do it all over again because you plugged it up. There we go, and there's another one of Grunty's secret uh, um, jig jiggies. Jeez, why am I brain farting? I was doing just fine. Okay, so now with Grunty's eye done. I think we need a beak bomb it though, but I'm not sure. Yes, yes we do. Okay, let me just get some distance back here. Maybe a little bit of height. Turn around really quickly using the right bumper. And... Bam! Get that bitch. And fly right into the jiggy. So yep, there's another two jiggies for you. Relatively easy. So uh, now I'm going to call it an episode. So thank you everybody for watching. Um, as I said before, I had a great time recording this in my three episode recording session. Which I've never done before and I'm so happy. Um, I'm going to leave off where I started. So yeah, see you guys next time.